what's going on. Uh, I will be completely honest this morning. I was not feeling like going for a bike ride. Well, not entirely accurate. Um, I got up and I was, you know, trying to figure out what I wanted to do this morning. You know, hop in the shower, get ready for work, or go brush my teeth and get dressed and go for a bike ride. And no, I'm not just like my like this isn't gonna be my entire day. Like I mean go for a bike ride and then go to work. <laughs> so that's what I decided to do. Get up a bike ride before work. Because kinda grabbed my bike shorts and I was like, yep, bike ride it is. That's what I'm doing, obviously. Ordered some new bike shorts the other day to replace a pair that I had that I haven't kind of worn out. So, and I don't know if you can see in this video, but if you look at some of my other videos, you can see the, uh, the bar tape I have red and black uh, colored bar tape I really want to find some bike shorts that have that red and black you know it would be cool if it was like kind of a splotch pattern like, like these grips are but I'd also be okay with just some that were you know mostly black and had like red like a red color accent or a red seam or something. It'd be kind of cool. Crucial? No. Cool? Yes. And you know what? I see, you know, a lot of people in different, different internet groups, YouTube videos, stuff like that. And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, how I enjoy cycling it might not be the way you enjoy cycling it might not be the way the other guy enjoys it but it's all our own hobby I mean it's, it's the same hobby but it's the same as like a photographer or somebody who's in the photography hobby you might use a Canon you might use a Nikon you might use a Sony Pentax Panasonic kind of bar with the base bar if you're gonna run arrow bars because that's what the that's how they're meant to be ran or whatever but my thing is is I didn't you know I wanted to hit my bike and I have it set up how I best enjoy riding this bike I didn't put the arrow bars for more aerodynamic positions I put I put arrow bars on my bike <clears throat> like the gentleman at my bike shop he uh he put arrow bars in his just for when he's doing these uh these long bike rides he has an alternative position but you know 
his wrist get fatigued or whatever, you know, he can, that's what I do, you know, if you see in my videos, I'll switch between, you know, riding like this, I'll ride on the hoods, I'll ride in the drops sometimes, but when I set up these bars, I wanted, if I didn't want to put the hair bars on, you know, if I go somewhere and I want to go ride my bike with somebody that we're going for a bike ride and their, you know, their children or their nieces, nephews are coming along with us, you know, I'm not going to go be going for a bike ride and worry about, you know, getting on my arrow bars. I'm going to be more just enjoying a very casual bike ride or more about spending time with a friend and their kids or their nieces and nephews. So, you know, would it be the way you would set up your bike? Probably not. Maybe so. I don't know. My 
feet, my knees. And I get it, you know, some people have, you know, well, chronic injuries, would that be the right word? But they're dealing with injuries from, you know, age, job injuries, sports related accidents, you know, anything. And, you know, if I'm not gonna be able to get out here and enjoy my bike ride, then there's no reason for me to go. You know, I might as well just, you know, find something different to do. That's why I keep keep my hobby enjoyable. And it might mean that, you know, I do things a little differently, but that's just me. But I switch to a pair of P and W pedals, which are like pretty large platform, and I measured the platform width with the width of the bottom of my shoe, and it pretty much covers. Actually, I think it covers the entire uh, uh, width of the bottom of my shoe. And I was using a pair of hiking shoes that I already had because you know, I had them already. But the pins on these pedals are very aggressive and they were destroying the bottom of the tennis shoes I was wearing. So I took and uh, uh, bought a cheap pair of Velcro shoes, used those for a little while. Well, they weren't good for longer bike rides. And I said, you know what, forget this. Dealt with that for a little bit. You know, so I was looking for a pair of flat pedal shoes and order a pair and now I'm riding the Giro, Giro, Gyro, G the G-I-R-O trackers and I'm happy with them. And if you ever curious in my videos like like oh, just now I uh, took in yeah, you know, took my hand off the arrow bars. Um, put my hand on the buttons of the brake lever because you know my mentality is, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to get every tenth of a second out of this bike ride. I mean, you can tell right now I'm just coasting, and uh, but I'm not not worried about milking every tenth of a second out of my bike ride that I can. You know, so my mentality is especially if I'm going to like a curb or something I'd rather you know be on be on that brake lever and not need to use my brakes than not be on the brake lever and you know need to use my brakes because I mean, there's people that are out here you know walking or dogs there could be somebody sitting on the edge of the path tying their shoe and I'm not looking down like that, I'm looking for a person standing up on a bicycle, so or anything. Debris in the on the path. I tell you this this morning is absolutely absolutely beautiful. The sun's not up yet, but uh so it's a beautiful morning. Temperatures decently cool for the time of year. Wind isn't too bad. So I would say it's a pretty, pretty good bike ride. <clears throat> Before it gets to 100, it feels like I'm 100, 111 like it was yesterday. So even when I got home from work, I looked on, you know, I was, pulled my phone out and I happened to hit the weather app on my home screen and refreshed. And uh, I looked at it, I'm like, what? 100 degrees, 111 feels like, jeez. I get it, it's mid-August. Yeah, 
I've found, I did this a while back, is when I started riding my bike, I would add flavoring to my waters, sugar-free flavorings. And I think that was, you know, just my way of, because growing up, I had a grandmother, and I still have her, thank God. And uh, she's, she's just, she's awesome. She's, I'm gonna get on my little reminiscing box. She has taught me so much stuff, you know. Basically, you know, enjoying fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, you know, that, that was, that all came from her. And, you know, I'm sure I would have, but it's like, you know, growing up, like, she used to have, like, you know, the whole carrots. And growing up, that would, that used to, like, be my favorite thing. Like, she would be, she'd pull out her bag of carrots to run them through the juicer for her, to make her carrot juice. And, Grandma, Grandma, I want a, I want a carrot. And so she'd give me a carrot. And, uh, I'd have, you know, I'd eat a carrot and my great grandparents, they had, uh, they had chickens. So, <clears throat> I'd go see my great grandmother and get some fresh chicken eggs from her. And I'd have, you know, I'd have that for breakfast. It was, it was really, really a wonderful time. But she used to make us, not make, well, she kind of did. It was like, you know, you, you were told to drink so many uh, glasses that, you know, oh, you gotta, you drink uh, <clears throat> your, uh, your, uh, uh, taking my, there we go. Uh, back to what I was talking about. So, I, I think that kind of caused a little bit of a thing of not despising drinking water. So head back. There's a little bit of a wind, a little bit of a breeze.
I put that in my water for my bike rides. And then, you know, I, I noticed uh, as I was drinking my water on my bike ride, but sometimes I was, drink, I was drinking way too much water. So, yeah, and by that I mean like, dude, you know, like when you eat too much, it's more than more like when you drink too much, just Things that I've 